Hey guys, we are going to be talking about comparing and ordering decimals. I know, that's your favorite thing, right? Yeah. So, what's the difference between comparing and ordering? Well, comparing you are going to use the greater than, less than, or equal to symbols. And ordering, sorry my handwriting sleepy, sloppy, you're going to place the numbers in order from least to greatest or greatest to least. So the difference between comparing and ordering is comparing is going to be generally between two numbers, whereas ordering is going to be more than two numbers. And it can be a large list of numbers. It's just going to put them in order from least to greatest or greatest to least. And it may not always say least to greatest or greatest to least, such in our, as such we're going to use today. Now we are going to really be focusing on ordering today, but whether you're comparing and ordering, you're going to use the same basic steps. So there's three steps we're going to focus on. Step one, you are going to line up the decimals vertically. And we'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Step two, you are going to add zeros if necessary. And step three, compare or order. So let's take our numbers that we had from our race. We had 10 and 2 tenths. We had 9 and 127 thousandths. We had 10 and 794 thousandths. We had 8 and 655 thousandths. And we had 12 and 17 hundredths. And last we had 8 and 913 thousandths. So we have these numbers and we're going to follow these steps. So once again this is our example. I'm going to put an example here. And I can make a wavy line. Okay. So in our example the first, th first thing we need to do is line up the decimals. So we are going to, I have one, two, three, four, five, six numbers here. So I'm going to put six dots or decimals. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I line these up like the buttons of my shirt. So now I've lined up the decimals. I'm going to write them the rest of the way. So I'm going to put ten and two hundred. I mean, sorry, ten and two tenths. There we go. I have 9 and 127 thousandths, 10 and 794 thousandths, 8 and 655 thousandths, 12 and 17 hundredths, and 8 and 913 thousandths. Now step Step two was to add zeros if necessary. I want to make sure all my decimal places have the same amount of zeros. So I'm going to put an imaginary zero here. Now are these really zeros? No, they're imaginary zeros. They can go or stay. They can roll away or be there. But we can add them to help us. I'm also going to add a zero here. Now we have the same amount of place values. So the name is the same amount of places are to the right of the decimal. This will help us to compare them in a little bit. Now what if 
we're at step three, but we're supposed to compare or order. So this is where we're going to order them, but we don't know what we're doing yet. What if our paper or our activity, it told us to order them from fastest time to slowest time. Now this can be a little confusing because this is not least to greatest or greatest least. It doesn't tell us. So you have to really think if we're going from fastest time to slowest time, what are we actually looking for? If I'm thinking about the race, the person who finished first, which was me, that was me by the way, the person who finished first, is it gonna, number going to be smaller or is it going to be larger? Well, I got there first. My time started, and then it took me a faster time. I was there faster, so I, I was actually traveling a less amount of time. So mine is actually going to be smaller. So we are actually going from least to greatest. So this means least to greatest. Fastest time to slowest time is least to greatest. So now we know we're looking for the smallest time going to the greatest time. So what is our smallest time? So I'm gonna start with my large, my smallest number here in the ones place, and I see that we have, these both have eight in the ones place, and those are both smaller. So, but now I need to go to the next place value. So I'm gonna start in the next place value, six and a nine. Well, I know that six is less than nine, so I'm gonna put, this one is going to be the winner, me. And then we have second place right here, which was the second place. So we both have, there was only two that had eight in the ones place, so those are both the smaller number. Now I'm going to look at the next whole number that's the smallest. I have a nine here. And so nine is going to be smaller than the 10 and the 12. So this will be three. Now I'm going to, again, so now we have 10. We have two that are 10 and one that is 12. Well, 10 is smaller than 12, so we're gonna look at these two. So I'm gonna look again at my tenths place, which two is smaller than seven. And you can also see that 200 is smaller than 794. That can help you. But sometimes we can think, we can get confused without these, with, if we have those zeros not there, we can sometimes get confused by that place value. So since this one is smaller, I'm gonna make this one four. This one becomes five, which leaves the 12, which is larger than all of them, to be six. So now we've ordered them from least to greatest. The last thing we want to do is write it out. So these are, this is how we order them from least to greatest or fastest time to slowest time using these steps here. Now what I want you to do is I'm going to give you a list of problems on your left side using these same steps. So let's try it with 8 and 65 hundredths, 8 and 652 thousandths, eight and 286 thousandths, and last, eight and nine tenths. So we want you to put these in order from, let's go with slowest time to fastest time. And I'm gonna give you a little hint, that's opposite of what we did over here. All right, so that is it. Thanks for watching, and you're awesome.